Hello folks, this is Mike Cannon with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group. And today we're going to do a short video clip on how to remotely identify the server type of an Avaya Aura Communication Manager. So why do we want to know the server type? There's actually a few reasons. Number one is we want to check our knowledge base against any particular trouble related to any Communication Manager version and or server type. The second reason would be for the technician, installer, or engineer who happens to be going on site. It gives them a chance to pull down some refresh material prior to going on site. And this is especially critical if they've not worked on that server type for a while. The third reason, probably most important, is for repair. By knowing the correct server type, we can ensure that we ship the correct server field replaceable unit and or parts, parts being hard drive, power supplies, unique RAID battery. And the fourth reason is to ensure that customers who are pre 6.x, so they're on 5.2.1 for example, and want to migrate to 6.x, that that server type can migrate to CM6.x. The following slide lists the CM server types, and I have them listed in the CM server and the output you'll see when we run the ID command in a Linux shell. So for example, if you have an S8700 and we run the Linux command, it'll output ISP2100. The four servers I have highlighted in blue are the four servers that can migrate from CM5.x to CM6.x. Next, we will log into a CM server. All right, first thing I do is I log into a CM server. And once I log into the server and I'm logged in as craft, first thing I generally like to do is type in SW version to see what version of software we're on. Okay, looks like an early version of software. It looks like 3.1.5. My next command I'm going to type in is going to be the command to ID the server type. Okay, the command I typed was grep space dash i space server type space forward slash etsy forward slash ecs dot conf. And when I press enter, it tells me the server type is ISP. 2100. Looking at my notes, I know ISP 2100 is an old S8700 server. At this time, I'm going to exit CM and log into an, another CM. I logged into my second server and I'm now going to type SW version. And as you can see by looking at that, that I'm on R15.02. Dot one, dot zero one six, dot four, which tells me this is 5.2.1. My next step is to run the grep command. So again, the ID to server type, I ran grep space dash i space server type space forward slash etsy forward slash ecs dot conf. And this time I am showing an IBM 306M which my cheat sheet told me was a S8500C. Uh, next we'll log into the CM6 server. Okay, this will be the last server I log into. And again, I'm logged in as craft and I am going to run the SW version command. So we can see I ran SW version and the release here is release 16, which tells me it's a CM6.x template and VCM is the load. So now I'm going to run the server type command. So again, this is CM6.x and I'm running the grep space dash i space server type space forward slash etsy forward slash ecs dot conf command. And what I get is zen. So again, the command has been deprecated in 6.x. Zen just tells you that this is a virtualized environment. And I think we're going to have to go to system platform to find the server type because system platform now controls the server. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thanks for choosing Avaya.